have nothing to do with them. Yeah. Even if you're Muslim and you don't do that bara, you don't make that disassociation from them. What are people supposed to think except that you are one of them? Even if you're Muslim, even if you claim to be Muslim, you say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and then you praise and glorify the terrorism of the armies of the Kufar, the armies of Fir'aun, and the armies of Quraysh. If you're doing that, don't think suddenly you are absolved because of your own kalima. You become one of them, you become just like them. And in war, this is how hukm al hukm al And that is, as I said, is a matter of agreement which is agreed upon. If we look to the story of uh, Banu Qurayza, you know, in more detail as well. Banu Qurayza, it happened, of course, after Banu Qaynuqa. Banu Qaynuqa, they were expelled, they were thrown out of the region. Okay, because of their own betrayal, the Prophet ordered the entire tribe was thrown to be thrown out. Okay. So they were uh, expelled. And the people of Banu Qurayza, obviously, they saw that. They saw how the Prophet وسلم, he dealt with them harshly and firmly and sternly. And they didn't, none of them were uh, given any excuse. So they started to plead with the messenger. Okay? Obviously, when they were surrounded and besieged by the Prophet and his companions, they surrendered. They surrendered and they said, look, we will accept 